chat with uh, and to uh, meet and know more about a spiritual master who is here under the auspices of the Canadian Meditation Society, affiliated to the International Foundation of Spiritual Unfoldment under the guidance of my guest, Guru Raj Ananda Yogi. Welcome. How nice to have Thank you, you here. Thank you very much. Do I refer to you as Guru Raj? Just call me Guru Raj. Guru Raj. And so nice to see you so relaxed, sitting with legs crossed. Well, that is what I teach, total relaxation of mind and body. And by relaxing the mind and body totally, one has a chance of reaching the spirit within. So the entire teaching is to lead man from fragmentation to integration. And 99% of the people's problems are because of fragmentation. They do not function holistically. Mm -hmm. uh, the mind, one thought pulls that way and another thought pulls that way. And through a very scientific and systematic process of meditation, uh, we teach people how to allow the mind, body, and the spirit to function as a wholeness. So all the actions become sincere, pure, and dynamic, and so much should be achieved in life. And everyone could benefit from this. Uh... Oh, everyone could benefit. I gave an analogy last night that it is the nature of a flower to be beautiful, but that's not the only thing it does. It also enhances the beauty of the garden. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. So, if a man, through a systematic process of meditation, leads himself from a fragmented life, and a fragmented life is filled with stress and tension, and that is the greatest disease, if you'd like to put it that way, in the world today. And uh, if he can uh, become more stable through meditation and spiritual practices, the stability is produced in him. He becomes more harmonious within himself. And when he becomes harmonious within himself, he experiences that joy and peace, the peace that passes all understanding. You were um, lecturing here in Victoria. This evening at 8, you'll be at the Planetarium Theatre. Theatre. And people may just come along to hear you do your lecture. Yeah. And uh, when people come to hear you, how do you begin your lecture? What is your opening remark? Uh, well, I never prepare a lecture. Ah. I normally start off with uh, saying, what would you like me to talk about tonight? And uh -huh. from any question, I'll speak for an hour or two or whatever the time allows. And these days, you feel that the kind of spiritual healing that you can offer would benefit mankind uh, in uh, all walks of life? In all walks of life, because an integrated man uh, can function in all walks of life much better than uh, if he was just fragmented. Mm -hmm. In other words, his home life would be better, his relationships would be better with his wife and children, his work environment would be better, he would become more accepting, more strong inside. And when a person becomes more accepting and strong inside, he would know the value of what love is all about. Uh, there does not remain a mental conception, but it becomes something experiential. And then uh, someone asks me, oh, the world does not love me. I says, that is very simple. The solution is simple. Become loving so that you could become lovable. So you love the world before the world loves you. Loves you, that's it. Because every person emanates a certain quality about them. For example, you might go into a home and the atmosphere is such that you just want to leave immediately. Mm -hmm. And other homes, the atmosphere is such that you'd like to sit there for an hour. Yes. You have yes. you have visited homes like that where the oh, tension you can feel oh, tension you can as soon feel as you walk the through the tension, door. Yes. Or you can feel comfort. Definitely. Everyone has experienced that I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yes. When someone decides that they will now meditate, can they leave behind truly such problems as are rampant these days of unemployment and uh, financial problems and recession. Uh, well, uh, look, by meditating, you're not going to have a million dollars drop in your lap. No. But it will give you the integration and the clarity of mind to formulate ideas, because once your mind is in turmoil uh, or in turbulence, you could never formulate any ideas whereby you could be benefited. So if you reach that calm state of mind, then your mind will function better. You could think better and therefore make uh, all your efforts more effective. 
Tell me about the... Are you able to follow up on people who to whom you have spoken? Have you had oh, yes, people I've come got, back to you yes. and say, Guru Raj, this is mm -hmm. what happened to me? Now, now what, what happens is this, that I do make um, one or two visits a year to a country. Uh, we've got uh, organizations established in various countries of the world, and we usually use the country's name. In Canada, the Canadian Meditation Society, in America, the American Meditation Society, in Spain, Denmark, Germany, yeah. South Africa, everywhere around the world, we use the name of the country. All right. Yeah. right. And then I have trained teachers personally who are able to cope with that. But everyone gets initiated through me. Uh, I initiate a person personally. I see. And the teacher just teaches over. In other words, I'm the doctor and my teacher is the dispenser, of the chemist. Yeah. Now, you'll be here, back here in Victoria on the 23rd and 24th at the University of Victoria, Victoria. for a two-day intensive. Intensive, yes. Mm -hmm. Now, in that intensive, I'll be leading people through various forms of meditation and make them experience what it is all about. And meditation is just part of it. The philosophy that goes behind it is very important as well. Well, that would show you the different aspects of life and how to look at an object in a totally different perspective. Now, these flowers here are so beautiful, but if you have that inner integration, they will seem much more beautiful to you. Mm -hmm. Because you'd not only be looking with your physical eyes, but you would sense the beauty of it. Uh, you would know that this flower is just a formulation of the invisible sap. Now, the idea is to reach the invisible sap, to perceive it, conceive it, and to experience it. The Guru Rajananda Yogi, who will be back in Victoria the 23rd and 24th at the University of Victoria, register at 9 o'clock in the Clara Hugh Building, room C305, this evening at 8 o'clock in the Planetarium in Vancouver. I very special thanks. Thank you very much. Right. It has been a pleasure. Thank you.